Hey everyone, Legend here. This video we're going to show you around the Shedd Aquarium here in Chicago, right on the shores of Lake Michigan. Let's go check out the aquarium. Just walking in, I love kind of the architectural design of the place, you know, the little details. It feels old, but it also feels really, really nice. So cool. Through the spinning doors we go. Right after you enter the aquarium, you enter the aquarium here, and the first thing that hits you is the Caribbean Reef. And this tank, it looks like it's probably been here for like a hundred years, and it doesn't look like much on the outside, but then you get over there, and it's actually really, really cool. They've got an incredible collection of animals, uh, everything from stingrays to sea turtles to little hammerhead sharks. And the cool thing about it that you wouldn't notice is it's deeper, like the floor is here, but the, the tank goes down probably another 10 or 15 feet. So it is an absolutely gigantic tank with all sorts of fish. Definitely one you could uh, hang out and look at the fish here for quite some time. One last thing at the Caribbean Reef, there's also a sea turtle. Yay! Sea turtles are, are some of the coolest animals. So this is neat. If you come by the Caribbean Reef tank at certain times, they do uh, presentations with divers who feed the fish. So neat. Also very popular. Little puffer fishes in here too. Puffer fish are cool. Hey guys, we're down in the Oceanarium section of the aquarium, which is really, really wonderful. And we're here at a great time, so we're catching and doing some, uh, some feeding and training sessions with the beluga whales. And I mean, it, it's really awesome because I'm so close to the beluga whales. They're, they're in, those beluga whales. And they have a whole bunch of different ones and they're doing different you know, uh, tricks and exercise sessions and that kind of thing. And it's just, it's, it's incredible to be so close. Look how cool it is. <laughs> He's eating fish. Oh, this is fantastic. So here is the sea lion area, which is surprisingly small. I'm guessing they probably have a, a decent area, but, but I want to talk about some of the theming level here at the, the open area. I mean, it's uh, you know rock work that has to be 20 feet tall, and then if you go over here, you got this great waterfall too. Obviously, the beluga as we showed you earlier, but then as you enter, you, your stairs go past another piece of giant rock wall, work with waterfalls and stuff. It's just it's um, a, a wonderfully well done exhibit. And then you've got another tank down here with some, some little fish. But again, just like, look at that. Like, that is, that is some top-notch work there. Now, if you go to the polar play zone, you get a great look at the uh, underwater area of the beluga tank. And it is a gigantic beluga tank. Um, so, it, uh, it's very, very impressive. Look at how big these guys are. This is awesome. Uh, now, that's really cool. If you were to turn around, all sorts of uh, construction and ugliness, but that does have to happen. This operates every day, all day. So you do have to take things down from time to time to fix them up. But the beluga tank is, oh man, it's so cool. Still by the belugas, and they've got this really cool little room here where you can hear beluga sounds by pushing the buttons. How cool is that? So they got this great playground area for kids where you get to become a penguin, and there's slides and projection screens and tunnels and stuff, so a really neat area for kids to go and blow up some skin. I love how they have the projection stuff in the background too. As you can see like, there's little penguins, and then there's other animals that walk by. I, I like the projection thing. And now it's time for the greatest animal in all of time and space, the penguin. Look at this guy, he's chewing up his mat. And there goes one swimming by, and another one swimming by. Uh, penguins are my favorite animal, and they have a, a pretty nice penguin exhibit. It's, uh, it's kind of weird because it's very, very tall when uh, penguins don't fly. But they have different types of penguins there, as you can see, you know, the cool little rock hopper over there looking awesome. Like that guy, that's an awesome looking rock hopper penguin. And then I love these guys here, they've got like little penguin houses, which I'm assuming is for like nesting and things like that. But uh, if I was a penguin, that's probably where I want to live, like a little cave-like thing. And they have more of them too, I imagine the penguins could hop up and do the same kind of thing up there. Uh, penguins are the best, and they have a pretty nice penguin exhibit. There's also different times of the day where they do talks about penguins, so if you want to learn about penguins, you can do that. Because penguins are the best. 
here we are in the dolphin section, and it's very interesting because they have a Pacific white-sided dolphins, where normally if you see dolphins, uh, you know, in any sort of zoo or aquarium, things like that, it's always like the Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. So this one is, uh, you know, it's really interesting to see something different there, which makes it really neat. And uh, they have what looks to be a very, very large tank with a bunch of dolphins. And they're, these guys are really cool. And we've got sea otters, which is another one of my favorite animals. I love otters. And they've got different points for you to view. We're down here at underwater viewing. And again, another giant tank here, especially in the Oceanarium area. Here he goes. Sea otters are bigger than the normal river otters. And again, this aquarium here has to be a good 20 feet deep. And it's really cool. All the noise behind me is from touch tanks. So if you have kids that want to touch uh, fish and that kind of thing, that's behind me. I don't want to touch fish, but I love river otters and sea otters. Sea otters are what they have here. So we're at the top of the dolphin habitat now. And you kind of look at the design here in the ocean area, area because it, it just looks, uh, it's sort of like if you have one of those forever pools in rich people's houses. They sort of have that here, except for the dolphins. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Anyway, we definitely hit the uh, the whales and then the dolphins at the right time because uh, we got to see both of them eat and again eat really, really close. I'm right here. There's dolphins eating right there. Ah, oh, it's awesome. So the aquarium is home to a dolphin show. And what I think makes it really neat is that they pull like a giant shade over the ocean area and then use that screen shade a projection mapping device. They play videos on them and stuff between the dolphin segments. It's actually a really uh, cool technology to show. Guys, 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 the show just got better. They brought in a couple of penguins and had them walk across the front. Look at him go, he's saying hello to all the people. Oh my god. Uh, so obviously, uh, it's in the front row. That's my piece of advice. Up next is the Wild Reef, and this is kind of an interesting one because you have to take elevators to get down to it. See? The first thing that greets you here when you get down to the Wild Reef is this awesome wave pool type tank. You know, very much simulating how these fish would live in the wild. And again, you got a really good deep high rock work. Very neat. And you can work once you have a dory without an even. Yeah, that's true. You've got Dory from Mount Nemo. Which is weird that that breaks the rules of most aquariums where they have to put those two fish together. I mean, who needs Avatar Land? You've got, you've got this, right? Same thing? It's like a giant goldfish, guys. He's swimming away from me. But he's a giant goldfish. That's probably not his technical term. It's probably something else. But that's what he looked like to me. Love this one here. It's a, uh, uh, a oh, not only a floor to ceiling aquarium, but it goes above you as well, and then connects over to here. Like this is some room. Holy cow! I love the garden guys. These guys live sort of in the sand, and if there's like a predator coming, they they would sink back into the sand. See, like that guy there. In and out. Fun animals. There's a crocodile fish. Right over here. Kind of mesmerizing to watch, too. More awesome guys down here. Check out the crocodile fish, which, that, I mean, that name makes a whole lot of sense. And then up here, you sort of have to play Where's Waldo until you find him. The stonefish. Wouldn't be an aquarium without the shark tank. And the one here in the wild reef is, uh, it's pretty spectacular, guys. I mean, it's uh, very, very, very large. Plenty of viewing for all sorts of people. Super neat. Oh, man, look at the 
design of this aquarium. This is one you could actually walk on top of. And you walk right over uh, some stingray type guys. How cool is that? And then if you look over the edge, you get to see them without the glass. Another another tank here at the show. Really great design. They're really actually pretty pretty. Here we've got a, a mangrove forest, I believe. So cool, super pretty. Is it just trees, no fish? Well, it's fish. Yeah. Oh. The aquarium's home to a uh, 4D movie theater, which is an, I think it's included with your total experience ticket. It might not be included with your basic ticket, and they got three different shows they're showing right now. There's Sea Monsters 4D, a prehistoric adventure. There's something called Coastal Predators. So two more educational ones, and then completely uneducational one that we just saw, SpongeBob SquarePants 4D, the Great Jelly Rescue. And this is something I wanted to see since we talked to uh, Brent Young from Super 78, who was creative on the film, a couple of iapas ago. It was either two or three iapas ago. So I was very excited that I got to see it, and I like the SpongeBob anyway, and it was well done. A lot of good gags, uh, 3D was really great, and uh, overall I gave it a thumbs up. Molly, what were your thoughts? It was good. I really liked it. Let's go check out the amphibian exhibit, which I think is a special or temporary exhibit here at the aquarium. Here we have the European fire salamander. And I think salamanders or newts and anything like that are really, really neat animals. Anyway, it's showing off the exhibit itself here. It's a lot of smaller tanks because it's a lot of smaller creatures with uh, all different, mostly very, very heavy frog base. But it's very colorful exhibit too. Guys, check out the Serenium Toad from South America and his crazy flippers. And I wanted to show this off because they've got this great exhibit here. So it, with a little movie that tells you about them. But these toads, they carry their eggs on their back and they just sort of hatch like that. And then they showed it on the video here. It's just so different, it's so crazy. But uh, the animal itself is really, really neat looking. I mean, who doesn't love the poisonous dart fox? They are, these guys are amazing. They really look like they're like plastic statues. Like something you would win in an arcade for not a whole lot of tickets. But they're, uh, they're so cool. Oh look, he actually moved. See, he's real. Because these guys, they do look like they're fake. And a lot of times you don't see them move around. They're feeding the newts. That one hurt. If I listen to another animal I don't think I've ever seen before, this is a Sicilian, which you think it's a snake, but it's not. It's an amphibian, so it could uh, breathe under the water. And it's just really kind of mesmerizing watching these guys move. And normally I'm scared of snakes, but they're not snakes, so I'm not, I'm not afraid of them. Guys, that's, that's not a log. Well, I mean, that's a log. But over here we have a Japanese giant salamander. Holy cow, look at the size of this thing. And he's going on an adventure through a log. I had no idea salamanders existed that are bigger than like, like six inches or so. And this guy is humongous. Well, he fits in the entire log. Exactly. I have to say, really did enjoy their amphibian exhibit. Uh, I was going in thinking it would be kind of dumb, it would be a lot of smaller, you know, uh, frogs and stuff. But it's really cool. Part of it is like playing Where's Waldo to try to find them. But uh, again, I guess there's school groups coming in now, so it's not going to be as enjoyable. We were in here with almost nobody, so it made for a really nice time. And uh, incredible animals in here. Some of the stuff I've never seen, and I go to a whole lot of zoos and aquariums. This is an aquarium. Next exhibit up is the Amazon Rising exhibit. So I really like these guys. They're polka dot catfish, and they've got really, really long, I guess you would refer to them as like whisker type things. And there's a duck. Who doesn't love ducks? I love ducks. I do like the interactiveness of this exhibit, because you've got here, apparently there are 38 different species in the river's edge habitat, and they've got this tablet kind of thing here, where you can find out who's ever your favorite species. Let's say I want to learn more about the catfish. You click on the catfish and it's going to give you facts about it. Like that's a really cool interactive thing here in the Amazon area. Here's a yellow spotted Amazon turtle. He's pretty cool. 
Guys, I might have nightmares. These are giant cockroaches. I mean, they've got to be like three or four inches long, and they're moving like crazy. I'm going to have nightmares, and Molly pointed this out to me, so I'm going to blame her and then wake her up. Guys, more wonderful design here in the back of the Amazon area. It um, uses the this, this sun to come in, and you've got a, you know, giant tree branches that go down there. It's a, a really, really beautiful exhibit. Not a great shot, but this is a Mata Mata turtle who uh, really looks like something out of prehistoric times. That's what he looks like on the sign. And they've got a couple of them. There's one over there, and then there's one in the back over there. And that's uh, really looks like something out of prehistoric days. Again, yeah, it's just fantastic design. This one's got like an Amazonian hut built into it with the giant trees and everything. There's a rainforest exhibit. Um, well, the, the fish aren't the coolest, but the, the exhibit is, is wonderful. Watch out, JLo. We're at the Anaconda exhibit, and it's kind of cool because it's in and out of the water. But I, this is an okay view, but then you go down here, and you see just how many times, like, he circles back onto himself. I know he's got kind of a an, uh, tough view with the, the blur, as you get more of me than you get the Anaconda, but it's gigantic. And awesome that they have one of these things. They're crazy animals. Here's the Arapima, which has to be one of the biggest fish in the aquarium. Um, there's that small child, and there's the size of that fish. That gives you an idea. The fish is bigger than the child. It's a very, very large fish. You also have some turtles in here. Over here, we've got uh, this whole half of the aquarium on this side here. It seems to be waters of the world, and it's divided up into different sections. And we're going to start here in the rivers. Starting off here, you got a really awesome aquarium design because you not only have like the water and stuff like that, but you do have the trees so it continues to pop, and that's it's really really neat design. This tank is home to well, one ugly fish. Ah! Here's an oscillated featherback, which is a fish I've never, I don't think I've ever seen. It's from Thailand and India. And it looks like a combination of like half fish and half eel. It's really interesting. And the river section is divided up by the region of which the rivers are. So you got Central and South America, Australian, over there you have African, and then Asian and Indian. So that, that's another cool feature of this section. They've got piranhas here. Let's see if we can get a close up with a little tiny mouse. Nope, he, whoa, he is so shiny. Oh, now they're moving around. aquarium here with the rainbow fish. I love the uh, the plants growing from the bottom. Very different. Over here in the, uh, the Australian section they have Australian lungfishes, which are a very very strange type of animal. They have both lungs and gills and they're in here with some other animals. So you have turtles, you've got this really cool looking lizard guy. And then I wanted to point this out too. Um, they had this sign over here, and I found this really interesting. Uh, Granddad was their original lungfish, who has lived at this shed since 1933, and was the oldest fish in any aquarium or zoo. Uh, just passed away earlier this year, and uh, he lived here for over eight decades, and was seen by over 104 million people. Like that is, that is so cool. Now they got a couple other ones. I like this guy. Still in the rivers area, we have some paddlefish, which I didn't know was an actual thing. I just thought it was an expensive restaurant there at Disney World, back where we're from. But nope, they're real, and they are uh, hilarious looking. And there's also, I think, a sturgeon down there. Mm -hmm. But uh, the, the paddlefish, is, those guys are, that is something else. Hi, I'm a really cool pufferfish. Look at me. And my friends in my tank, the, uh, the fingerfish, they're cool too. They're not as cool as me. Check out the Chinese crocodile lizard. Next up, oceans. Down here you've got a wolf fish. 
which I did not know ever existed. And then these awesome looking guys. These are lump fishes. I love that. So they're big and they're very like detailed and cool looking. Guys, check out the giant deep sea isopod, which really looks like something out of like prehistoric times. It's so cool. And then in the back here, you've also got some giant crabs. Thank you. Guys, this tank is amazing. You grow up, Check out, you're gonna be uh, a giant spider crab. His body's gonna be as big as a car. It's crazy looking. Wow. It looks like something out of a monster movie. And then you also have over here the spiky king crab from Tasmania. And look at those claws. Guys, this is so, and they're gigantic. Just to show you up, that's my hand. And that is the, the crab. These things are massive and amazing. Gotta love the octopus. This guy's just hanging out in the corner, of the, like right on the street. Um, if you ever get the chance to go to a grave and you get to see him swim around, it's amazing. Most of the time you see him there up against the wall or the glass, but if you get to see him move, it's the coolest thing. This guy's really neat here. It's an American lobster in its blue phase. So it's a blue lobster. It's so neat. Over here we got the Flotsam and Jetsam S Moore A Eels. Kind of a small exhibit for the Moore A Eels. But uh, these guys, they're so cool. And uh, it's kind of interesting. A lot of aquariums have these guys like in caverns and rocks. This one, it doesn't seem like, I mean, they do have some holes, but they're not in their holes right now, which is kind of interesting because you really don't see them outside that much. You've got uh, three of them, which are all intertwined like hair braids. I really like the CO soul here as he uh, is disguising himself over there in the, uh, in the dirt. Here's islands and lakes. I do like the dolphin chichuit. Very detailed animal. Almost looks fake. Another cool exhibit here, in the star of the show at this one, is an iguana. A sleepy iguana. It's just like we're back home in Florida. Alligators. Baby alligators. Check out the Midas Chichilla, or as I like to call it, the brain fish, because he looks like an alien. We got some really cool turtles here, little tiny, smaller turtles, swimming around, and then you've got a couple of them out of the water here. And this guy, he's trying, he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. Yay, he made it. So cool. Here is the Great Lakes. Some cool projection screens back there. Of course, showing off the local fish as we're here on Lake Michigan. This exhibit's really, really cool. And then when you check out what's inside, a giant old dinosaur-like snapping turtle, it gets even cooler. We tell he's old, they got kind of the moss growing on it, which is common with turtles. Check out his face. Awesome. Got some sturgeon type fish here. File is under another fish I have not seen before. This is the burbot. Check out this fish with like the suction cup milk. He looks like he's out of Dr. Zeus. So cool. You guys have to turn the camera on back here because it looks like the big giant snapping turtle is getting fed and you get to see a giant dinosaur like tail. And normally these guys you don't see them move that much at all. Now you can see them, you know. It also explains why this ramp was here. Because he, uh, he uses it to eat while he's up top. I absolutely hate spiders. Spiders and snakes are my two least favorite animals, but I had to show you guys this, because this is the famous bird-eating spider. Not a great view with the glare, but uh, 
not something I would ever want to see in real life. Not in a trade yeah. or anything. I mean, the gift shop's fantastic too. There's a, a giant big octopus hanging from the ceiling here. And uh, lots of pretty cool stuff. So we're here in the gift shop and check this thing out. It's a jellyfish lamp. Obviously they're not real jellyfish in there, but it's so cool. This shirt is so adorable. Love this line of merchandise here. I guess uh, the Shedd Aquarium teamed up with uh, Revolution Brewing, a local Chicago brewery, and made a penguin hops beer. So you got, you know, everything from t-shirts to growlers to, you know, this one, a, a t-shirt with a pop top in it. I mean, it's, it's pretty awesome stuff. I love the growler. And that will do it for the Shed Aquarium. Guys, I absolutely love this aquarium. To me, I, I go to a lot of different zoos and aquariums. This one is my second favorite. Uh, it, it does not beat the Atlanta one, but that's a, a, a really new aquarium with some of the biggest tanks in the world. But to me, it's, this is my second favorite. Uh, uh, the show was fantastic. And it's really interesting because like up here we, in the main floor, you got a bunch of older exhibits like the Oceans of the World and things like that, which wouldn't be cool, but the uh, their collection of animals is amazing. So many fish that you don't see a lot of places. It, it just makes it happen. Uh, the show was a big surprise for me. That The show was wonderful with the projections and the penguins and they, they do another segment where they, they train a dog at the same time they're training the dolphins. And um, the show was awesome. The whole thing, I, I absolutely loved it. I, I highly recommend it. We're here on a pretty good day. If you come on a weekend or if you come on a day where it's um, too many school groups, it could be the worst thing in the world. But today, it's not too busy. So it, it's kind of peaceful and very nice. Uh, Molly, you've never been here before. What are your thoughts on the shed? I uh, didn't expect much, especially uh, first walking in. I thought it looked old and I wasn't expecting much, but they had a really cool collection of animals. We spent way longer than I thought we would here. About yeah, we, we've been here uh, uh, about uh, three, uh, three and a half hours, about. Yeah, way longer. I really liked it. Fully, fully enjoyed it. I would say one of the best. Not the best. Not the best. But, it's not Atlanta, yeah. but uh, it, it's but really good. Very good. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you got any questions or comments about the shed, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, see you later.